Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life, and I design workshops that help you create beautiful projects from start to finish with easy to follow guides. So we're in the month of June and the featured collection is Tutti Fruity. So I'm here to walk you through my scrapbooking workshop for Tutti Fruity. Um, I've added the blog link into the description above if you wanted to see more pictures or read more details. But I thought I would share with you the layouts that I created with Tutti Fruity and how you can get the files for yourself. Like I said, all the details are available on my blog, so you can just jump over there. Um, they are in instant download now section, so once you add them to your cart and check out, you'll be redirected right to a page to download the files for yourself. No more waiting on me or an email or anything. So I'm going to put you down on my desk and we're going to take a look at what I did with Tutti Fruity. So Tutti Fruity is a super fun um, collection that is kind of says all things summer or ice cream, a popsicle, hot, hot weather related. So I'm going to walk you through eventually the pages that I created, but I'm just going to talk to you about my file. So when you order a file, like I said, um, any of the ones that say get it now are now an instant download file. So once you click and add it to your cart, you can also add multiple files that are in the shopping area to your cart and check out just one time. And then you'll be redirected to download your files. Um, and this is what they look like. So there's always a cover page. Then there is um, a set of pages called directions and supply list. So it walks you through the supply list for Tutti Fruity, which I'm going to go through in one second. Um, then there's general workshop direct. Uh, tips and tricks and then there it walks you through the background colors that I've used. There is a before adding everything onto the layout to help you figure out exactly where to put things. Some directions for each page. So there's all of that for each layout. Then there is um, also a PDF document that is called um, layout photos. So there's a large version of the layout and then a few of the more detailed photographs. And then there's a full cutting guide that'll walk you through exactly how I cut my papers to get, and you, your pages will look exactly the same as mine in the end. So um, there is very, very little paper left over after you're finished this one, um, but like it tells you how to cut the PML cards if they need to be cut. It tells you how to cut the cardstock. It tells you how to cut all the decorative paper, all of those things. Okay, I'm just going to grab my supply list so I don't miss anything as we go. So to create the scrapbooking layouts exactly the same way I do, you'll end up with eight scrapbooking page, 12 by 12 scrapbooking pages or four double page spreads. So these are the supplies that I use to create them. So I started off with the Tutti Fruity paper packet and sticker sheet. So this sticker sheet is, um, not all of them have it, but this is one of the sticker sheets that does have the fun UV coating. So you can see there's little sections that are highlighted. You can, if I catch it in the light just the right way. So for example, here on the glasses, there's that UV coating and it just gives it a little bit extra shine on your scrapbooking layouts. It's also, you can see it on the top of these stickers, the word stickers, which I absolutely love. I love, you can just tuck these little sentiments into all sorts of different places. Um, there's some nice big bold titles on this sticker sheet. Also, all the fun Chris Christmas, summertime treats. So I did use the sticker sheet and then I used the paper pack and this is a fun paper pack for sure. And it kind of um, also I think includes some colors that you might not, it's kind of got like a pastel-y summer theme, which I thought was super fun and a little bit different. 
So there's this first sheet with all the cute little sunglasses that are all different shapes. Some of them have hearts. Some of them just look like normal sunglasses. A little vintage pair of cat eye sunglasses there. Fun zip strip. And then on the back, it's this lemonade color with all of the little icons in flamingo. Then the second sheet is this nice, fun, bold, striped print. And on the back side of that, there is this Capri dotted paper. I know you're probably not going to be able to see the dots on camera. They're just little teeny tiny. And then look at this fun popsicle sheet. And then with the zip strip on the top with all the fun little sunglasses. And the back side of that is larger summer icons or food icons like the watermelon, the strawberry, peaches, lemons, etc. So I did use the paper pack and sticker sheet. Then I used the coordinating cardstock and on the supply list, on my blog or on your sheet, it does actually list out the colors in case that it's your, if you're creating it at a certain point where maybe it's not actually a product anymore, it does go through and list them. So there's two white daisy, two flamingo, two grape, two capri, two mint, and two lemonade. And you use all of it up, so no extras. And then I did use the Picture My Life cards that are also coordinate with this collection. So the 2D Fruity Picture My Life cards. So there's a bunch of um, three by fours and then four by sixes. So some of them are journaling boxes. Some of them are just large icons. Some of them can be used as decorative elements. Here's those fun sunglasses, sending sunshine. And of course, these are two directional, but through the guide, it explains to you exactly how to lay your cards onto your page and if you need to trim them or not. So I did use that. And then I used the Capri Shimmer Trim, which um, is super fun. I love the little pop of glitter sparkle and that it's in a blue color. So Capri is a blue tone and it runs through the whole collection. And then I did use silver loose sequins. These are obviously just in my craft jar. They do come in a little resealable bag from close to my heart and you can just add them onto your layouts with glue dots. So now let's move this aside and I'll show you the layouts that I created. Move my little sequins there too. So, Oh, somehow I managed to do that. I must have picked it up off of the shimmer trim. So here is layout number one. And as you know, most of my workshops always uh, feature large photos or photos that are super easy to crop from a four by six, but lots of standard size photos. So four by sixes, um, four by fours and three by fours. Um, here you can see one of the fun PML cards. There's little stitching that's white across the bottom, which I know is not going to come up on the camera. And then you can see some of that UV on those popsicles. So this layout has the title. Here's the scoop. And you can see how nicely that Capri Shimmer Trim went in the whole workshop. So that's layout number one. And then here's layout number two on that Capri background, which kind of just pulled everything together. And that's why I decided to use the Capri Shimmer Trim too on this workshop. So again, nice large photos. But if you wanted to switch out for different size photos, it's completely adaptable, super easy to do. Nice large journaling boxes, which is why I incorporated the Picture My Life cards in this workshop. So that's layout number two. And then layout number three, you are my jam, one and a melon. You know, gotta have those funny pun titles in here, right? So, and then you can see how I've used some of those little sentiment stickers to accent the photos. So you could also swap those out for different ones if there were different stickers that were applicable to your photograph. So fun little clusters, the picture my life cards. This one is on the lemonade. 
And then the last one is on Flamingo, Sending Sunshine. So you know, you had to know there was going to be sunglasses on this layout, right? Some fun journaling boxes. You're wonderful. Treat yourself. Love this. And then you can see again, the fun little sentiment stickers on the layout. And this one is featured on the Flamingo. So like I said, lots of fun ways to document your summer parties, end of the year for school, um, vacations, because it also could be just a, set, a summer, a, a sunny vacation along the way. So I'm going to actually go backwards really quickly too. So layout number four, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to ask. So then here is the layout number three. But like I said, you can read um, all the details on my blog. And this is one of those instant download um, workshops. So everything, once you check out, you will be redirected to the files to simply download them for yourself. And like I said, this is what all the files look like. So and I'll just pull back in the supplies that I used. And as always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you all have an awesome day. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.